Hi there and welcome to today's episode of Next Wave TV. I'm your host Tony Rialli. Today we're going to be talking about uh, a really quick tip that I want to share with you and this is simply how to basically have a free monitor for your Canon DSLR camera. Uh, the Canon DSLR, I'm using the 5D Mark II right now, it's a fantastic camera uh, but there are certain workarounds that you have to deal with. One of which is simply that the camera, if you plug in an HDMI or um, or composite monitor to it, it blanks out the LCD screen that's on the camera. Now that's okay if you're the only one shooting, but if you say you're working with a client uh, that needs to view the footage, then you might have run into problems. The other advantage uh, to you doing what we're setting up here is you have full control over the camera from a remote location. For example, I have my Canon camera pointed at me directly right now, and I'm able to uh, look at the camera and still control it right down here without having to get up and go back to the camera. So what we have here, if you want to bring the camera around, uh, I'm using the Canon Canon EOS uh, digital software that came out, the Canon EOS utility software that came with the camera, and I'm recording this. Uh, and now I have full control, and now we'll go ahead and switch to the camera or to the computer view, and I have full control over everything. I can change the shutter speed. I can change my f-stop. Uh, I can literally change anything within the camera, the ISO um, from 400, 500, whatever, um, and I can even start and stop recording. I can switch over here and say I want to focus on this lamp down here. I can switch over and now I'm focusing on the lamp without literally... Here, here, here. Oh. Not what we want, which I can use that for fine tune focusing too, but if I just want to focus on the lamp now it's using contrast based and now I'm focusing the lamp and literally I haven't gotten up to change anything. I'll focus back on me and now I'm looking at the camera and the only problem that you run into is that the software the live view on the the computer is a little um, it's a little choppy it's not completely fluid uh, but I guarantee if you're working with somebody that wants to see the footage you're not going to run into any problems and if we bring the camera back around and look at the uh, the Canon camera, you'll see here that the LCD screen is still working even while I'm seeing the image right on my computer. And so this is great. I have full control. I can either control it on the camera or I can control it on the uh, computer and I have full control either way. So this is just a great way of either remote viewing um, or if you're needing to have multiple monitors at the same time. There's so many applications to it. If you get an, an extension cord for your uh, your USB, you could use it, say, like if you had your Canon camera on a jib or something like that. Uh, there's so many options to it. I did try testing it with uh, this uh, netbook that I have right here. Um, this is just a small MSI Wind uh, U100 laptop. It's nothing very fancy. It's a little netbook and I had a uh, external USB um, uh, DVD ROM that I just plugged in and installed software onto it. The only thing that I ran into is the, the installation software would not boot, the, the screen resolution was too small. However, if I went in and opened the install files manually off of the CD-ROM, then I could drag and drop them onto the computer and then EOS Utility would work fine in the netbook. And so um, this is this netbook was under three hundred dollars, and so literally for under three hundred dollars you can have an extra monitor uh, for your camera. I'm using a uh, Acer 8940G uh, PC, and I, I like that. I use this for my editing too. Um, but you can do it. I know that uh, the EOS utility will also work on Macs. So if you have a Mac, you can use this either way. Uh, this is something that basically this is software that comes free with your with your camera. If you have a laptop and you have a Canon, you literally already have a monitor for your camera. Um, so I hope that's helpful and I hope that a lot of you can go out and try it out and just see all the great stuff you can capture with it. Thanks and have a great day.